Hi everyone, my name is Faye Smith. I'm a makeup and hair artist from Vancouver. Um, I'm here today to show you guys how to be sexy and seductive this Valentine's Day. We're going to do a very dark, almost evil but still completely wearable and very sexy look for your men to enjoy. As you can see, my skin is already flawless and that is because I have makeup on. Unfortunately, not because I've got perfect skin. So if you want to see how to get perfect skin, you can actually look at my other makeup tutorials, which include that. Uh, for today, I'm going to skip straight ahead from here to highlighting. So I want to add a beautiful glow to my skin by adding a highlight up here on my cheekbone. Going to be quite dramatic look. This look is going to be a really dark look, so I really want to brighten up the skin and give the skin a healthy glow. To do this, I'm going to add a highlight, lots of highlight to the cheekbones and dust all over the face just a little bit. For my seductive look, there's kind of a reason for everything that you do. So right now I'm going to do contouring, which again, if you want to see how to do this in detail, I do uh, have a makeup tutorial out just for that. Uh, so check that out. For now, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to use it. Is um, It's going to uh, put a shadow under my jawline, creating a very high cheekbone and a strong jawline kind of gives a more powerful chiseled look to my face so to be seductive is to be confident so I'm gonna be confident through my makeup so here is how to do contour for the contour I'm using a, a bronzer color just underneath my jawbone very very lightly and then just underneath my cheekbone too a little stronger stronger underneath the cheekbone because I want it to stand out Although I'm trying to go for a seductive look, I don't want to look completely evil, so I want to add in some colour to my face. I'm going to use a peach blush just on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up to my cheekbones. So I keep that chiselled jaw and uh, high cheekbones, but still have a little colour to my cheeks. So to add colour to my face, I've chosen a shimmery peach blush. I've chosen a shimmery one again to go with that glowing, healthy looking skin. I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then blending it outwards. As always, I like to prepare my eyelids before putting on any crazy eyeshadow. To do this, I am going to use a neutral, creamy coloured eyeshadow and just place it all over my eyes just to give the other colours something to blend into easily. You can use any eyeshadow brush to apply your neutral colour. It's simply to even out the skin tone and give a base for your other eyeshadows to blend with. So now is when things start to get a little bit crazy. I want to add the black. Um, I want to do this quickly, I don't want to spend too much time having to build up a black eyeshadow so I've chosen to use a black cream eyeliner and I'm just going to use it as a base all over my eyelid. Um, it's just going to make life so much easier and get that deep deep black really fast. As you can imagine a black cream liner is very messy. It's messy and sticky and if you get it in your brushes it's pretty hard to get out. So I'm going to use a Q-tip to apply this instead. And I don't really need to apply it, need to worry about how neatly I apply it. I just want to get it all over my eyelid basically. So as you can see I look kind of crazy right now and um, 
you probably think I'm a terrible makeup artist because it's so messy. There's no point in spending the time making this really neat because it's all going to be set with the black eyeshadow and blended out with the black eyeshadow. So just get it on quick and easy. Use Q-tips so you don't ruin your brushes and have to spend forever cleaning them. Now it's time for the black eyeshadow. I need to set this black cream because otherwise it's just in a crease. A way to do this is by adding a powder and a way to intensify the black is by adding a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to pile on even more black colour with a black eyeshadow over the top of the cream and blending out the edges. Again you don't need to worry about it being 100% perfectly blended at this point as I'm going to do that with another colour. So I've got this cool and crazy, very, very deep black eyeshadow going on, but still at this point my edges aren't completely perfect, so I want to blend them out, but I want to use a different colour to blend it out. I'm going to use a, a, a grey or even a silver work and just blend the edges, make everything look soft and uh, no jagged edges and make it look a little more dreamy. I've selected a dark silver to blend my, the edges of this uh, eye design. I think that it just adds a little bit more sparkle around the eyes and just blends the edges nicely, not too much, not making too much mess or smudging, nothing too prominent. I just really like the way this looks. I could keep blending and blending all day because it's never going to be 100% perfect but it can be pretty darn close and I think I got to that point right now so I'm ready to add a liquid eyeliner just to add a little little bit more darkness around the eyes because I really need it don't I? A black liquid liner is going to intensify the blackness of the eye even more and the beautiful thing about the fact that we've got such a black eyeshadow underneath is that you don't really have to spend too much time worrying about how neat your liquid eyeliner is because you can't really see it that much. So I've done my liquid liner but now what is looking a little out of place is the inside of my eye, the waterline. So I'm going to colour this in black with a waterproof, uh, waterproof uh, black eye pencil. So now I want to finish my eye design um, with some shimmer. Shimmer on the inside of the eye and on the brow bone, um, just blending it into the black so it doesn't take over, but it's definitely prominent. If you've seen any of my makeup tutorials before, you'll know how much I love shimmer. So again, I'm finishing this look with a shimmer on the inside of the eyes and blending it all the way around the eyes this time actually. It kind of blends the edges just a tiny bit more, it looks great. I need to fill in my eyebrows at this point. They're getting completely lost and I think something really defined not too defined, not too dark, but pretty defined, uh, is going to really add a uh, nice strength to the face. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. I need to put my eyebrows in to make this look look more normal. My eyebrows have disappeared right now, so I'm going to colour them in, and I'm going to colour them in quite strong this time. I think that the eye design is powerful enough that I can make my eyebrows powerful too. So to complete my eye design, I need to curl my lashes and add black mascara. I'm going to do that right now, but you could 
definitely add false lashes if you wanted to. Um, I feel like the look is pretty dramatic as it is, so I'm not going to on this occasion, but if you feel like it, girls, then go that extra mile. You can actually see a video on applying false lashes and individual lashes in my other makeup tutorials. Every look needs eyelashes, so again, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. I'll apply quite a few coats because I want the mascara to be as dark as possible. If you want to do something more dramatic, then go with some false lashes. Do it. So my seductive eyes are all complete. I'm feeling very sexy and mischievous, but if I'm not wearing enough makeup already, why not add a little bit more? I'm gonna do a blood red lip next. To finish this look, I'm using a blood red lip stain. A lip stain is gonna actually stay on my lips all day, so I'm not gonna have to worry about reapplying too much. I just need to make sure that I keep the moisture in my lips by reapplying a chapstick or even a gloss. So here is my seductive Valentine's look. A deep, deep black smoky eye with lots of shimmer and a blood red lip to finish. Now, I'm sure your boyfriends won't want to kiss you with this lipstick on, but it is a lip stain, so it's gonna last you through the night. Just top it up with a bit of a lip balm or a lip gloss and you'll be there all night with it. I hope you enjoy.